I believe you have the note. See turbine blades. Oh, see. WH2 minus H1. Please, no more sending of the attendance. Okay, please don't send any more. <coughs> In your notes, you can learn about turbine. See potential energy this is the gravitational potential, negligible the difference. Turbines and compressions. Nozzles and diffusers. See. Kinetic energy. C is the velocity. Actually, it is very good if we change the V to C because normally we use for the uh, volumes. So here we change V to C. In the notes, you can see C. Small c. So here we change to c. c. That is good. <coughs> yeah. Then no confusions. Very good. CSFEE -E. C1 C2 incoming C1 leaving C2 C nozzle C2 is much bigger than C1 diffuser the other way so in the aircraft engine end of the engine you see the nozzle No cells and diffusers. So SFE and C. Applications. Kinetic energy. Simple. Potential energy. You can see. Total energy. Enthalpy plus. Kinetic energy plus potential energy. energy. In this flowing of working flow. So, energy balance is the conservation of energy. So, steady flow, energy balance means energy equation. So you should go through this and understand, okay? You should go through this and understand. That is very important. So anyone not looking into the one-time note, I pass to you. Actually, it is very unfortunate if you are not looking into this. Because we have passed this many months back. Daily discussions really being helpful. You know. So you should 
look into this. See. Turbines. It's about the enthalpy difference. So later we will come into the, the proper formulations. Now you know that somehow it's about the enthalpy and the kinetic energy and potential energy combinations when it comes to flow through the components like turbines, nozzles, diffusers, compressors, combustion chambers. Okay, it's very important. And also, I just want to share one more thing. Okay. You know about the engines, bicycle engines and all. Mostly, I've heard about the four strokes or the four processes, actually thermodynamics processes. Suction or intake. Then you have the combustion, sorry, compression. So after compression, you have combustion followed by the power and the exhaust. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. Here, just one piston and cylinder, but here you have four components. You have intake, compression, power, turbine, and exhaust. Here you have combustion chamber, even here, the cylinders also, you may have tiny combustion space, combustion chambers. So here one component and some valve arrangements, managing all the four plus the combustion. But sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah, but that. Sir, slightly pain, eh, sir. Pain, eh, sorry, but that. okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So here in the first stroke, you can see suction, compression, power, exhaust. Here in the turbine engine, suction means the intake. Okay, intake, compression. Power is the turbine, the expansion, and exhaust. You should not be so. So. Combustion chamber, because the combustion chamber is very important combustion process. Even here, after compression and before power, there is a combustion process. Combustion process takes place. Here, cylinder and a piston, but here, for each and every process, intake, compression, combustion, power, and exhaust, there are different components. That's why engines are quite simplified, quite simplified, the less cost. Turbines more, but you can go for the continuous flow and separate components all combined, and you can go for very high power out. Because radial, uh, you it's very easy to manage the vibrations and not, and also very reliable. This one because here in the piston cylinder you must have the clearance. You have to have the oil seals and also to, you have to take care of the pressures and all lubrications very important. But here. There are several many clearances 
and non lubricant non lubricated means the no lubrications here so more reliable high power and of course you need maintenance but probably lesser maintenance yeah the so trouble free almost otherwise you cannot fly airplanes you know udda di prashno no the kadi hamara but engines compared to this this is more reliable same process you can see same thermodynamics the four processes plus combustion you can see it very interesting but there are small aircraft running by using engines of course are you very there on the engines on that team may not be turbines there are even engine driven reciprocating engine driven small aircrafts are there the turbine driven are there. mostly the commercial types ones the turbine engine driven even we call this turbine engine okay because engine in the sense you have this all the four processes but when it comes to steam engine no intake no compression only power and exhaust that's all because external combustion you feed energized steam into the engine take the power then exhaust receive the energized steam deliver the power exhaust that and likewise so steam engines are uh, more efficient one way because it has only the power component and the exhaust so mechanical wise also less losses may be so what very important here is let me do this way one more slide then eh, before this if you think of the total power from the turbine as a turbine because the turbine drives the compressor also so you have W turbine take this so so out of this w another portion of this a little portion being used to drive this out of this stuff a little portion being used for compression
W compression. Just put as W comp. Okay. And then the net is one thing, but turbine now put is more than that. W turbine. And then there is a balance. So smaller than W2 by. We can say this. W net network okay so it is very important to have minimum compression work and the maximum okay maximum possible net output so that is very important. But in aircrafts, this W net is to run the internal air conditioning and all the energy needs and balances for the thrust from the nozzle. It's a different story. Okay. It's a different story. So here it's a W net. So as we discussed, in the previous lesson four, I think that is better to get the lesson four. In the lesson four, we talk about the turbine used in power generation. So in power generation, You have to have maximum W net power generation. It's a W net. You have to have maximum because this is not flying. But here, W net is optimal. Because thrust is a separate one because of the nozzle effect. There are needs another energy component. So W net is optimal. But somehow this W comp should be minimal. That's the point. For both cases, W comp is minimal. That's why the technologies are improving somehow compression work minimum. So in the aircraft, the turbine net is optimal just to meet the needs. The balance goes here for the thrust propulsion. Propulsion also is, you know, that's how the different designs. Huh? So here, W net maximum to run the generators, but somehow all the cases W compression is minimal. So that is very important, W compression minimal. W compression minimal, W net maximum, W net optimal, okay? So,
ఒక్క అటెండెన్స్ పాస్ ఇవ్వండి so w compression should be in short relative to the work output w table w compression should be a smaller fraction okay. should be a smaller fraction so later we will talk about this but this is just an insight for you so related to this there is a terminology we call it work ratio later we will share this one what work ratio is in this work ratio this is very important and one is the compression associated with this as a ratio we can talk about this later this is later so the same strokes here it's the same strokes not to say strokes but the thermodynamics processes what the time it is good so we will revisit this in the next week so you can go through your notes as we see that you can look into all in your one time not this all are explanations good so enough for you to look into your one time note